Today, I want to tell you a story. Growing up, I've always wanted to be a journalist or a baker. It was a young dream to have and like any of the other usual career household discussions at the dinner table, I had one too. And we all agreed that if I should make a career out of my life, I can't choose any of these unconventional professions. So I ended up studying pharmaceutical sciences. I landed on this after much debate. I was in fact pretty good at it. I enjoyed the subjects and I passed with flying colours. But I graduated during the year of the Great Recession. And that honestly didn't help much. And that's where it all began. Life has taken all kinds of twists and turns since then. Some affecting my career and some my personal life. It has been a crazy roller coaster ride. I look back sometimes and I can't believe that I've made it through all of it. Here I am today, working as an administrative professional in one of the top companies. Nothing remotely even related to what I dreamt about or even studied. And yet, here I still am, with a dream to document my life. Part of why I wanted to study journalism in the first place. Although I couldn't make a career out of it, I still really enjoy baking. Today I'm going to show you one of my most favorite recipes. This is a lemon brownie. I really love lemon desserts because of the balance between the tart, sour flavor of the lemon and the sugar in these desserts. I've experimented with tons of lemon desserts and I love all of them. Lemon is an interesting ingredient to play with. Living through this pandemic has taught me that life is so full of uncertainties. The only thing that is probably constant and certain is death. We will never know how or when we will die, but we surely know that someday we will. But again, constantly thinking about death can give some people some real anxiety. And I am one of them too. I thought about death constantly, especially with this pandemic moving in full swing. But I learnt quickly that instead of always thinking about it and getting depressed, we should embrace it and make the most of it because our lives are too short to just waste away. One way is to be productive and find something that you really enjoy doing. I find baking extremely therapeutic. Mixing and matching ingredients, experimenting with flavors that gives you a beautiful outcome that the whole family and everyone you love enjoys is so satisfying. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade they say. But why just lemonade when you can make tons of different things with lemon, isn't it? While reflecting back upon my life, I realized that each of our lives were never our choice. It was given to us without our consent. But the truth is, it is ours now. And it's up to us to make the most of it by finding a meaningful purpose to our lives. And there's no right or wrong thing here. 
you can feel free to experiment. If you ever feel like your life is aimless or without purpose, do remember that God isn't finished with you yet. The reason we're all still alive is because He still has a purpose and a plan for us. But we need to find our calling. And we can probably only find that calling when we seek His purpose for our life. The Bible says that He is the potter and we are the clay. And in order for him to mold us and shape us into whom he wants us to be, who he's called us to be, we need to empty ourselves and make ourselves a useful instrument in the hands of God so he can fill us with all of those beautiful things that he has in store for us. And once you find that purpose in your life, You'll be like this beautiful lemon glaze that I'm making right now that tops that lemon brownie so perfectly and completes it. Please excuse my sometimes irrelevant comparisons. Have a look at that gorgeous tray of goodness. Our lives are never easy and we all have our imperfections, but that's what makes us who we are. As I'm finishing off this lemon brownie with this beautiful glaze here, I want to say that if you're suffering from oppression or mental anxiety, just know that you are stronger than you think you are. And you will definitely overcome it. All you need to do is find an outlet, utilize your strengths and live a life of joy and purpose. Follow your dreams and passions. Do what makes you happy. It doesn't matter if your life is not what you dreamt that it would be. But there's always new beginnings. And God isn't finished with you yet. You will definitely accomplish what you think you want to do. My aim is to live a life that is pleasing to God and I sometimes allow Him to trim the edges off of me, to perfect me, just the way that I'm perfecting this brownie. And once He's finished with you, His favor will be upon you and you will shine like never before. Thank you so much for watching.